In question two of this series, we have an expression containing fractional powers of a binomial. Take a look. We have x times the square root of 3 plus 2x, which can be written as the integral of x times 3 plus 2x, all powered to half dx. In a situation like this, what you want to do is set the radical part of the function, namely this part, as an arbitrary letter. Let's call it z. So we have z is equal to 3 plus 2x all powered to half. Next what you want to do is solve for x in this equation. And we do that by squaring both sides. That gives us z to the power of 2. And on the right side we have 3 plus 2x. Subsequently we'll take this 3 bringing it over giving us z to the power of 2 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to x. So what I'll do is replace this x with this expression and this whole factor with z, giving us the integral of z to the power of 2 minus 3 over 2. This has become z. And here we have dx. Since we have changed the expression from being in terms of x to z, we have to change dx so that it is dz. And the way we do that is by finding the derivative of this equation with respect to z. Taking the derivative of x gives us dx over dz. And the derivative of this expression isn't hard to do. In fact, we can rewrite this as z to the power of 2 over 2 minus 3 over 2. If we use the power rule for this term, we should end up with simply z. And if we use the power rule for this term, we should end up with 0. So solving for dx now, all we do is multiply both sides by dz. This cancels out with this dz. And we're left with dz times z is equal to dx, which I can now place right here. z times dz. Next, what I'll do is clean up this expression by multiplying this expression with z to the power of 2. And if I do that, I will end up with the integral of z to the power of 4 minus 3z to the power of 2 over 2, which I'll distribute to each of these terms, dz. Taking the integral of these two terms isn't hard at all. We'll add 1 to this 4 and 1 to this 2, and then we'll take whatever the sum is, which is 5, multiply it by this 2, the sum of this is 3. And we're practically done, but we still have one major step. Right now we have z to the power of 5 over 10 minus 3 over 6, which is half. So we have z to the power of 3 over 2. And we have to introduce the arbitrary constant, c. But we started off with an expression that was in terms of x. This is in terms of z. All we have to do from here is revert back to what we set z equal to. And remember, z was set equal to the square root of 3 plus 2x, or 3 plus 2x to the power of half. I'm going to take this expression and substitute it where I see those z's. And if you do that, you should end up with 3 plus 2x to the power of half to the power of 5. I'll use the power raised to a power rule soon for the laws of exponents to simplify this. Over 10 minus 3 plus 2x to the power of half to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Now, multiplying 5 and half and 3 and half gives us 3 plus 2x to the power of 5 square rooted over 10 and the square root of 3 plus 2x all raised to the power of 3 over 2 plus c and this is the integral of the function we started with